something large just smashed into the planet Jupiter, causing a huge white flash. As we can see, this is a video from SLA Astronomy 54 YouTube. And this is what you can see on the uh, center of the planet uh, towards the left. So this is what's happening on Jupiter. It's just hanging out there. The planet is a gas giant shepherding Trojans, uh, minding its own business and boom, smacked upside by a stray space rock. And it's not necessarily unusual for Jupiter actually. What is unusual is that someone happened to be looking at it at that time, filming at just the right moment, the right place at the right time to take an image of this. And this month that happened with sky watchers around the globe catching an explosion in the planet's upper atmosphere. On September 13, 2021, a few days ago, at 22.39 UT time, amateur astronomers recorded the bright flash of what appeared to be a Jupiter impact, namely Harold Paleski from Germany, who was recording the shadow of Io as it passed in front of the planet, and Jose Luis Pereira from Brazil support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. And here we see it again in a slower motion. Now others, including Simone Gallelli in Italy and Jean-Paul Arnaud and Michael Jackson in France, Thibault Hamburg, Hamburg Stephen Barre, Alexis Demogin and Didier Wallian of the Société Lorraine d'Astronomie de France also managed to film the putative impact. Now, to, if confirmed, the event will only be the eighth impact event observed on Jupiter since the impact of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 in 1994, which broke apart due to Jupiter's tidal forces and produced a string of impacts. These were actually on the planet's far side, but a 2.2 meter telescope in Hawaii photographed the heat signatures of these impact sites as they orbited into view, and Hubble telescope captured the dark smears left behind on the clouds, known as a scar. It's unknown precisely how often Jupiter gets smacked by something large or fast enough to produce an impact flash visible from our Earth, but it's thought to be fairly often, somewhere between 20 to 60 times every year. Jupiter is large and has a huge gravitational field, which accelerates meteorites to generate much more energetic events than we experience on Earth. But we don't see them as often as they are predicted to occur for multiple reasons. The most recent capture of an impact event on Jupiter was over two years ago. Astronomer John T. Horner from University of Southern Queensland, Australia said, it's a very fleeting event, it's only a few seconds. It wouldn't be so obvious if you were looking through the eyepiece of a telescope. A lot of the time, these things will go unnoticed and unobserved. Half of them will happen on the far side of the planet. So there's a lot of things working against seeing these events from our Earth, obviously. Nevertheless, the rate at which we detect them seems to be increasing, she said. This will be of great benefit to astronomers hoping to understand Jupiter's role as a cosmic vacuum cleaner protecting the Earth from rocks that might have otherwise headed our way. Some analysis suggests that this may have been exaggerated, but either way, understanding it more accurately will help us model the chances for life in other planetary systems that have or don't have Jupiter-like gas giants to protect them. The objects that smacked into Jupiter in 2019 turned out to be an object 12 to 16 meters in diameter, that's 40 to 50 feet, with a mass of about 450 tons and a stony iron composition. We're going to have to wait for an in-depth analysis of this flash 
and subsequent observations looking for an impact scar to see what hit Jupiter this time around. But with so much material to work with, we're excited to see what astronomers find, they said. This is on Science Alert by Michael Starr. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.